We got an update now to a story we've been following for the last year about faulty Samsung refrigerators. The company has settled nearly $10 million in disputes with dissatisfied customers. So how does Samsung continue to rank so high when it comes to consumer and customer satisfaction? Consumer reporter Steve Noviello on your side with a follow-up. Be it holiday or every day, when it comes to what we buy, there is often a reason why. Consumers now complaining. This is how food poisoning happens, Samsung. About their faulty Samsung fridges, which flood, freeze over, and don't keep food cold. It's supposed to be at 37. Um, I'm at 44. Say their why was the high praise they saw for customer satisfaction by consumer index groups like the prestigious JD Power. And now they have a disaster on their hands. So what do you say to these folks? JD Power won't talk to us on camera, but did tell us they don't rate companies. They just tabulate and report ratings, which come directly from consumer surveys. That's how the sign at the store can give Samsung a number one, while more than 100,000 members of the Facebook support group Samsung Refrigerator Recall USA Now would disagree, saying not only is their purchase unreliable, but customer service is so bad they've complained to the Better Business Bureau. Our job is to promote trust in the marketplace. Which currently gives Samsung an A-plus rating, despite more than 20,000 complaints in the last three years. It's not atypical for large companies such as that to have that many complaints, honestly. Let's put it in perspective. LG has 4,400, Sony has 361, and Panasonic has 64. Do you still think that 20,000 plus is an appropriate number? I don't I don't know if those numbers are accurate, so I'd like a chance I, I to take a look today. at those. It's, it's from the BBB website. I, so yes, 20,000 sounds like a lot of complaints. All the complaints against Samsung are resolved. Not so, say the folks we spoke with, dozens are crying foul, saying the BBB never responded, that the resolution is far from done, even questioning the use of the word resolved. They might tell you they're unhappy, but that doesn't necessarily, unfortunately, mean they've told us they're unhappy with the outcome of their complaint. Is a BBB rating a guarantee of a company's performance or reliability? Actually, no, it is not. But the American Consumer Satisfaction Index is, at least according to Samsung. In response to our last report, Samsung cited their number one rating with that index as proof of reliability and customer service. Yeah, the idea was is to bring sort of the academic rigor to market research. Last year, Samsung scored 80 out of a possible 100 points, enough to make them number one, or not worse than their competitors. Well, the national average at the moment is around 74. So that puts it um, six points above. Uh, Forrest Morganson is the Emeritus Director of Research for the ACSI and admits because the market is flooded with consumer choice, their research often encounters mostly happy customers. By default, over time, you end up getting uh, somewhat, on average, pretty satisfied customers because those who aren't satisfied with the company will leave that company when they have the opportunity to do so. To tabulate their number one rating, the American Consumer Satisfaction Index surveyed between 800 and 1,000 consumers who bought any Samsung appliance in the last three years. The index would not confirm if that included a single Samsung refrigerator. I'm not suggesting you shouldn't trust these indices, but you should understand what questions are asked and what the answers mean. In one case, number one seems to mean not worse than anyone else. In another, A plus doesn't mean reliable, it means responsive. Speaking of responses, we reached out to Samsung with more questions. We did not get our usual written statement. This time we got no reply at all. I'm Steve Noviello, that's my two cents. Spend it wisely.